Hello you beautiful legends and welcome to Bloom Force Healing Podcast and this is episode 545 I believe and I'm a little bit confused because if you're longer with me you know that I'm still catching up and the recent episodes were about our trip to Gran Canaria and in the middle I'm now recording this episode which is not related to Gran Canaria at all. We are back in Ireland. I am in Ireland and recording this episode to just update as usual on this Saturday. <coughs> and to be honest, let me just show you. That's the weather. I shouldn't be surprised if I live so long in Ireland, but, you know, after a break from that, you know, misery of a winter time in Ireland and being in twen high 20s or 30s, sunny weather, dry weather, with, uh, without really wind on canaries comeback is tough and even though the immediate thing when we came back was that fresh air and i love you know the the climate of ireland anyway it still can uh be a little bit annoying to me so you can imagine how bad it can be for people that just generally don't like it. Today, there are two highlights. First one was the match, a soccer match or football match, depending on what you prefer to call it. Basically a discipline when you kick the ball there's 22 men or 22 women on the pitch, there are two goals, and basically the one who scores more wins. So yeah, there's always that discussion between soccer and football, between people. I don't really care. It's the same discipline. I know there's American football, which should be called American football because it's a very different discipline. It's closer to the actual rugby than to anything related to football, but as we know, it's subjective and it can divide people. So Julian is part of Drumbar team and Drumbar FC is a bit of like a satellite team uh, within the Donegal town because Drumbar is more like a small district or whatever, the, the, the part of Donegal and they are unrelated to Donegal Town, they are a separate team. So even though the guys played in Donegal Town, on Donegal Town FC pitch, it was considered a game away, even though it's about five minutes drive between two pitches. And I was a little bit concerned because I knew that after the long break, the guys started playing fairly hectic and a little bit disorganized even though the coaches are doing a great job uh, the kids kind of need I guess more time to adjust and re-sync together and start playing again because first two friendly matches were lost and this was another friendly this time also away so they lost two games away and this time they were playing against Donegal Town. And the funny part is that Julian goes to school with a lot of guys that play in the opposite team in Donegal Town FC. And nobody from his class plays in Drumbar. So it's always a funny clash where they talk about it in school and they roast each other or try to mock each other that they will smash them 
and whatever. And so far, unfortunately for the guys in Donegal town and most of the guys in Julian's class, it didn't work very well because Donegal FC is pretty much most of the times losing against Drumbar. But because of that hectic start of the season, I was afraid that there might be a little bit more balance and maybe a draw and hopefully not loss for the guys because it would be disappointing for the start of the season before the league matches start. Fortunately, the guys played well. They won 5-0 and the fifth goal was scored by Julian, which both himself and me, we were pumped up about and it was a nice touch for the start of the Saturday, especially because of that weather and the depressive uh, mood that it brings. The rest of the day was, I would say, average. Julian went back home. Uh, he's now playing games, whatever. Elizabeth has a lot of work on their side on the clients and personal training. So I decided to drive a little bit far because I'm in Glenvey National Park, but this time alone. And at the same time, I wanted to use the opportunity, go through Letterkenny and pick uh, three or four things that we can't get around Donegal town and we don't want to order online. So I used the opportunity to get that in Letterkenny and I was fortunate to get three out of four, which is good. But Letterkenny was busy as hell. It's a bank holiday weekend. So St. Patrick's Day is falling tomorrow on Sunday, 17th of March, as always. Uh, well, it's not always Sunday, but it's always 17th of March. And it's already visible that it's really, really busy. A lot of people came just for St. Patrick's Day celebration. Uh, tourists tend to arrive in Ireland in, I would say, a higher uh, saturation or density uh, on that day. Even though the weather is pretty much always on the worst side. I don't know why, but that 17th of March is never good. I don't remember one St. Patrick's Day that was actually sunny and nice. It's always, even if the sun tries to pops up, uh, pop up, Usually there is rain as well, or wind, or both, so it's not nice. On the way from Letterkenny to Glenvey, I picked up the coffee from Coffee Time, uh, a small cafe that I was passing by many times, and I decided, like, if I'm alone, I'll pop in because my wife didn't want to, so I decided I'll do it myself and test it out. Uh, there was a nice guy there uh, that we had a, a decent chat and I learned uh, a little bit about the cafe and the premises. They have also a small sitting place with the fireplace, which is great because that might convince my wife to, to get there. And they also have a, a little cottage that they rent as a and b So there's, it's like a place with three or four old style Irish cottages. They, they look very nice, they, they are pleasant to the eye and they, they bring that, they draw you in because of the looks and that history that they have kind of embedded in themselves. So a good place. Uh, coffee is nice. Uh, the coffee was surprisingly with the mint, they had mint syrup and we had a chat with, with the guy and he said that he agrees that the mint is not very... Uh, common and I only seen that in one place when I was driving towards Dublin at some stage I popped into one gas station in Enniskillen and they had it and mint syrup has something in it that it's not too sweet and it gives that nice hint to the coffee which I love and we agreed on that in coffee time as well so now I'm in Glenvey it, I don't know if it stopped raining. Oh yeah, it, it didn't stop completely, but it's much, much lighter. It will probably be lighter towards the evening. So I'll try to get out 
get some walk just myself mentally clear up and enjoy that even though it's rainy and gloomy i have uh, spare clothes to change and then obviously once i come back i will change clothes and get back home for dinner so that's it for today not much to update on tomorrow i'll come back to the updates of gran canaria very likely unless we will decide to go somewhere for a trip on st patrick's day i don't know but even then probably if i will record anything i will record it in advance to post it on monday or maybe tuesday i don't know so expect continuation of gran canaria updates because i stopped them yesterday exactly at the uh, halfway after four days so i described all the four days in previous posts and there was another three or four days well actually three full days and the fourth day was pretty much the trip to back to dublin so i will be updating on events that happened at that time for now that's it i hope your weather is better and you have a great rest of the day afternoon or evening wherever you are stay tuned and see you tomorrow.